Hey, welcome back to Squawk on the Street. We're in Boulder, Colorado this morning ahead of our series, the latest in our series tonight, uh, Cities of Success, Denver and Boulder. Jim and David, I heard you guys talking about, you know, it's kind of an appropriate week to be doing this show tonight because a lot of worry about inflation in uh, the markets, but a lot of that is the result of economic growth. I see Williams is out today calling for 2% full-year GDP, and that means a lot of American cities are growing above trend. Denver and Boulder offer a lot of examples about that. So we take a look at some of the policy decisions that have gone into play in bringing big employers to town. Historically, I'm sure you guys know, Denver and Boulder have been about old line industries, telecom and energy. It's much more now about quantum computing and life sciences and certainly aerospace. 191 uh, companies here in the aerospace industry, some of them literally working on building gas stations for satellites in space. Now, in order to do all of that, you need a labor pool that is mature and ready to hire. And that's something we talked with uh, Governor Jared Polis about. Take a listen. Many employers are looking at workforce. Colorado shines. Great workforce. You people want to move here from other places, but we also have a great pre-existing workforce. So both, right? Number one, great uh, low taxes, great positive regulatory environment, great quality of life. And yes, we're making progress on housing, but it may already be less expensive than some of the other markets you're in, right? If you're in New York, uh, New Jersey, California. So uh, we, we're going to become more competitive and we're doubling down on that here. Uh, they definitely are working on housing, guys. Uh, they need a lot of affordable housing. Right now, they're offering incentives to various developers. They've got as much housing under construction, guys, as Los Angeles, which has five times uh, the population. The governor likes to talk about property taxes, says they're the 48th lowest in the country. Jim, just as one example, uh, remember the other day when you took your belt off on the show? Sure. <laughs> so I was, I was speaking at the university... I was speaking at the university yesterday, and a viewer approached me, literally moved to Boulder to start an apparel company that does make leather belts. So I have this for you. I'm going to bring it back. They want David's belt size as well. I just thought that sort of crystallized exactly what we're talking about. It, it really does. Uh, I also think, I think that the kind of people would be drawn to... Uh, Working on that, and then right behind you are some beautiful mountains where the Chautauqua Ch Ch is, and you're done at four, and you go climb one of those mountains, which is just a, a total rush, and we can't do that here. I think the people who are creative and drawn these days to really interesting things like to go hiking or, or skiing at five, and I think it's really one yeah. of the great things they offer there. It's interesting. Uh, we do a bit on, uh, on VC funding. A lot of VC uh, has moved into the area, and they do say that, you're right, 20 years ago, uh, we would have moved our startup here because we like the lifestyle, we like the 300 days of sunshine. Now it's really about the fact that the labor is first. The talent pool is here, and you have the added benefit of having these things, these mountains behind you, uh, and the work from home, of course, remote work phenomenon has just accelerated that. But it's almost the inverse of what was classically the story is that you move here for lifestyle. Now you're, you're moving here for productivity. Yeah. Can you find a place to live? Is that becoming more difficult? I'm sure that's part of your coverage as well. Yeah, Diana Olick does a great piece on how quickly you can get affordable uh, units built um, in, in a town with faster permitting and developer incentives. But that's really the, the key challenge. And we do take a look at not only the housing challenge, David, but the migrant challenge, uh, 40,000 migrants have moved here. That's the highest per capita in the country for a, a major metro. So we, we try to look at both sides tonight. Well, Carl, one of the things that I, I'm intrigued by is, is that there, there are companies that are headquartered in California, but the whole workforce is where you are. That is true. That is true. And that is why uh, a lot of the, the entrepreneurs here are thinking in terms of a new Silicon Valley. Uh, they, I think it's uh, Senator Hickenlooper says it's not doggy -e dog here when it comes to startups uh, and tech. It's more like hunting like wolves in packs, trying to make the ecosystem work for you just as much as you're working for your own individual firm. I love it. Yeah, just fantastic. Uh, Carl, uh, looking forward to it. Of course, no, we'll hear more from you during the course of the day. That's a nice shot too. Yeah, I love that shot. Cities of Success uh, tonight uh, premieres tonight at 10 o'clock. All right.